Hi, this is Nessa's Nook again. Anyways, tonight I am going to start slicing up some potatoes to parboil them, to put them on the trays, to then go ahead and put them in the freeze dryer for tonight so we can eventually have some freeze dried potatoes that we can use for like scalp potatoes. I'm using my KitchenAid 13 cup slicer that has adjustable sides and I'll show you how I'll do a few. Then I'm gonna put them over in the parboil and then I'll put them on the trays. It's nice, it's got this nice little things that you can pull out so you don't slice your hands out. This lid comes off for these. Then I have a bucket right here that I'm going to put the potatoes in to parboil them. You just clip that back on, redo that. Start again. This is the double broiler thing with like a mesh thing on the inside. And I'm just waiting for the potatoes to come to boil. And uh, we can get going with that to put them on the trays. Okay, I'm back and I parboiled the potatoes. Now I'm rinsing it off with cold water to stop the cooking. Parboiling them when you dehydrate them or freeze dry them will actually cause them not to blacken or brown when you're drying them. And then I'm going to go ahead and when these cool off just a little bit, I'll be pulling some out and putting them on the tray. I have five trays here. I have the Harvest Right five tray large free dryer that you'll see shortly and um, we'll show you how it gets loaded and how it gets started right now it's on getting ready to get cool and um, this way um, we can have probably close to about two pounds of potatoes on each tray ready to get um, freeze dry. So let me cool these off a little bit more and I will show you the, the trays before they go in the freeze dryer. Okay, this is the five trays that's got approximately about 10 pounds of potatoes. Next, we're going to go ahead and put them in the freeze dryer. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and load them in the freeze dryer. You have to cool this for at least 15 minutes because these are not frozen. Usually I do try to pre-freeze my items, but I didn't get a chance to do that today. So what you do is you close that, and you'll see like the seal, kind of like sealing. And over here, you close the drain, and you hit continue. And then what it will do is it will freeze 
for several hours getting these all frozen. Then it will go through the fried freezing in the drying stages. Then what's going to happen from there, they'll get dry. And then um, Mark got me this for my birthday. It's a chamber vac. And then I will put them in the Mylar bags for long-term storage of whatever we're going to use them for. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, the potatoes are done. They're nice and crisp. They fall right apart. And um, that took about 43 hours to get that accomplished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one tray, or a couple trays, into a half gallon jar. So it's a little bit easier to use. And then what I'll do is I'll fill up this jar and I will chamber back the rest of the rest of it and I'll show you how to do that. I filled the half gallon. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vacuum seal. And what that is is a half gallon jar with this attachment with my food saver. It's gonna get loud, so bear with me. on there. I have an oxygen absorber in there and this is now going to be shelf stable for approximately 25 years. I am going to go ahead and get the bag loaded up and I'll be right back. Okay what I do is I have like this um, cheap cutting board from the dollar store. It's harder when you're trying to do this alone obviously and what you do is you just toss the stuff into the mylar bag, whatever you have to make them freeze drying, and that helps keep the bag open a little bit better. And I'll come back once this is filled, and I'll show you how the chamber vacuum works. Then what we're going to do is I didn't fill this up all the way because I have found out with the chamber vac that the bag's too full and those error codes. So I put this in here. And I put this underneath the little lip that it says. And I'll bring you up close here. And what you do is you hit automatic seal. The countdown will happen. I don't know if you can see that. some air to it and there's the countdown Poof. and it sucks all the air out and it sealed it and it sucks the air out all on one so this is now also going to be shelf stable for approximately 25 years So this is what I got from approximately 10 pounds of potatoes. Two of the Mylar bags, <clears throat> all of them have the oxygen absorbers and then the one half gallon. And then over here, this is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if you can see the ice. And all that ice actually came from the whatever you happen to have had in the freeze dryer. And it is on defrosting right now. And what's going to happen is once that defrosts, then I will clean out the inside and get that ready for another load, get that started because I got stuff already in the freezer. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great, great day.